President Trump started his day in Davos immediately addressing news from home that threatens to overshadow his trip. Fake news, folks. Fake news. What's your message today? Typical New York Times fake stories. According to the New York Times, Mr. Trump wanted to fire special counsel Robert Mueller last summer, but chose against it after White House counsel Don McGahn threatened to resign. The president reportedly said Mueller, investigating Russian interference in the 2016 election, had conflicts of interest. The president's first meeting of the day was one that looked to potentially be an awkward one. Just a couple of weeks after allegedly using a profanity to describe people from African nations, Mr Trump held talks today with Rwandan President Paul Kagame. Kagame is the incoming head of the African Union. The two, though, didn't hint at any discomfort. It's an honor to have you as a friend. Thank you. Thank you very much. President Trump wrapped up his trip with a keynote address. The theme of the speech, that America is open for business. There has never been a better time to hire, to build, to invest and to grow in the United States. Mr. Trump suggested his America First strategy doesn't equal isolationism, but rather his desire to negotiate more advantageous trade deals. Just like the leaders of other countries should put their country first also. The president also spoke of working together for common causes, like defeating ISIS and discouraging North Korea's nuclear ambitions. Gavin Ramjorn, CBS News, London.